We're six days away from the multiverses relaunch and things are starting to look really promising. Player First Games is offering a huge welcome back campaign to help out with the launch and I'm going to dive into everything that's been offered. To start things off, we're getting some free characters to commemorate the launch. If you played any amounts during the open beta and login before June 11th, you'll receive the first season premium battle pass which includes unlocking Jason from Friday the 13th as the very first reward. On top of Jason, players new and old can complete the new tutorial to receive a new seven day reward calendar to unlock Banana Guard and the Lady Banana Guard variant. Returning players will also receive the Snowsuit Fin variant, Rising Stars Ring Out, and a Banana Guard announcer pack. That's two characters, two character variants, a ring out, announcer pack, and everything that comes with the first premium battle pass absolutely for free. Speaking of the battle pass, changes have been made to them since the open beta by including more high value items in both the free and premium tiers. This includes more ring outs, character variants, taunts, and currency, including the premium currency, Gleamium. The first premium battle pass also includes enough free Gleamium to purchase the next premium battle pass effectively making it two battle passes absolutely for free. Gleamium itself is remaining the same. It's a currency that can be purchased with real money as well as received through events and battle passes. Gold has been removed completely and in its place, three new ones have been introduced. Perk and fighter currency will be used to unlock perks and fighters respectfully. Both can be obtained from events, the Rift's PVE mode, battle passes, as well as the account and character mastery levels. Prestige is a new currency you accumulate from unlocking cosmetics, the value being based off type and rarity of the cosmetic, which can be used to unlock exclusive prestige cosmetics. Returning players will automatically start with an amount of prestige based off how many cosmetics they had during open beta. Exclusive commemorative gifts will be given out based on how much gold the player earned during the beta as well. PFG will also no longer be offering character or battle pass tokens, which were used to unlock characters in premium battle passes. However, players who still have these tokens from the beta will retain them and can still be used. You just won't be able to acquire any additional tokens in the future. Last but not least, character and account levels have been reset back to level 1, allowing players to unlock new stuff again if they've already completed certain tracks previously. Perks are also getting reset, while also removing rarely used perks altogether, reworking favorites, and adding brand new ones. That's it for the rewards and changes happening at launch. The game is almost in our hands and I, like so many others, can't wait to sink thousands of hours into this game's return. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and throw a like, comment, and subscribe as I'll be covering more multiverses news in the future. My name is Osti La Vista and I'll see you all on May 28th.